tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can use an Illustrator symbol and copy it over into Photoshop and use effects etc on that in Photoshop. Now I'm using the Creative Cloud so first thing to do just going to go over here and I obviously could do this on PC or Mac just going to select one of these symbols. Now these symbols are from Graphic Extras you can find them on the Graphic Extras website so I'm just going to select that one. I just drag to the artboard and just I'm going to just increase the size a bit so just move it over there now what you can do you can also apply and if you've got appearance palette open I'm just going to go to window and appearance so you can just see that you can go over the right side and you can add a new fill so I'm just going to maybe make it yellow so you can just add a yellow and as well as a stroke so just going to say add a new stroke set the size so you can set that also what you can do apply effects of course you can just go to effect and I'm going to apply a chrome effect so the chrome effect will be added to that now you'll notice it's actually added because I was selecting the stroke actually added around the edge doesn't really matter I'm just going to go with that so Once that's done, process that. I could, of course, added it to the center by selecting the actual fill. So if you just put that down, you can actually see the chrome has been added. Just gives an interesting stroke design just by selecting the stroke. You can add that. Of course, you can go to fill and again apply the same effect if you wish as well. Now, once you've actually done that, got the libraries open. You can go obviously create different libraries for this. You can create a whole range of libraries with different designs, different maybe different effects added to the same design. It's always possible. There's the libraries, so window libraries. So I'm just going to drag that over, and that'll be added as artwork 10 once it does that. Okay, just saving it over there. Now, once it's done that, we can just go to Photoshop, over to Photoshop, and you will see in a few seconds that it's actually going to update that as well. Hopefully, it will because it hasn't done it yet. It does actually take a few seconds to update occasionally because down here it's updating it. Ah, obviously, it's got an error there, failed. Anyway, now just then drag that over to the document. Okay, it will take a few seconds just to drag now. Now, once you've actually done that, it's actually a smart object, so you can actually apply smart filter effects and other color effects as well to it, adjustment layers. Okay. Now we can do also you can it's just a normal layer as well. So it's a smart object, but it's also a layer so you can just duplicate it and just select the alt key and then just drag there, drag it along. And again, you can see the chrome effect just around the edge there that's been applied to the edge of that sign. So now once you've done that, you can actually go to say other filters because, like I say, it's a smart object. Smart filters can be added. So, camera raw, filter camera raw. So, if you want to rate, recolor that, of course, you could use adjustment layers as well. You can actually just go, say, temperature, so on, maybe exposure, change it the other way. Click OK. And of course, you can remove that smart filter if you don't want to use that. Anyway, hope you found this of interest.